What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. And I know you guys have read that title, you done looked at that thumbnail, and you probably can smell it, right? I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Check this out. We're going to make some Southern style, you know, collard greens. And you know what? We're going to use this right here as the modifier. This portion of this video is sponsored by Truff. With that being said, let's get it. Truff Signature Hot Sauces features a unique blend of black truffles, ripe chilies, savory spices, and organic agave nectar. Their harder sauces take the heat up a notch with extra jalapenos, red chili, and habaneros for those who demand the spicier things in life. And the white truff hot sauce is infused with a rare and decadent white truffle. Truff hot sauces are all infused with 100% real black winter truffle, so no synthetic or artificial flavoring ever. To purchase Truff Hot Sauce, visit the link in my video description down below. Thanks to Truff for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to my regular content. Now that we're getting back to the, to the meat and potatoes and everything, look, it's super simple, right? You guys seen all of the ingredients. Don't forget all of the ingredients with the full list and the quantity will be down in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and just start like this. We're gonna go ahead and just take our, look, full leaves. Now I'm gonna tell you this part too, don't forget, you guys can buy them. I live out here in California, so listen, we can buy greens in a bag that's already cut, stems, everything. And then I want you guys to let me know down in the, down in the comment section below, hey, how many of y'all eat these stems like this? I know when y'all down south, y'all like it all, right? Anyway, I got some cold water, folks. I got me a little salt. I'm just showing you, this is the way I was taught. I put some in here like this, you kind of like layer it. I got it. All right, but I got some more. Now I take my hand, I just add a little bit more like that. I soak them, and then I move them around. I like using the kosher salt. My granny taught me to use the, what that, iodized. You guys let me know if I ain't saying it right. Whatever that is, I hardly ever use it. Really don't even have none. But I take that, get the water a little salty, and I move them around. My grandma was looking down. If she saw me not wash these greens, she'd have a fit. I forgot to show you guys this. It's about, like, you can add yourself like a cap full of lemon juice. Some people put two. I guess it depends on how much water you got in there, but that works also. Now let's just talk about taking the stem out. For you guys that are down south, you know what I mean? I know you guys probably do it a little different. You know what I mean? Uh, I read the comments. I know when I made this before, some people say instead of cutting it, they snap it off like this. I got it. And then some people like to have this inside of there. I do it both ways. Right now I'm gonna do it this way, just to show you. You do it the way you like to do it. But listen, I just say this, when you're working with a knife, be safe. Once you get enough, we gonna call this rolling a cigar. That's how we gonna do that. But you see, you just roll it like this. Just roll it over. Real simple, sharp blade like this. And for all my new people, right, that ain't never made greens, we making them now, folks, right? Then if we speed the process up like that, and there you have it. We got greens, folks. I like to use a little of that bacon fat, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit right here. Just a couple of tablespoons. For those of you guys that don't wanna use that, you can use butter. That works too. Now, we're gonna go ahead and bring this up. You know what I mean? On like a medium high flame. So you guys can see right here, look, it'll just start dissolving. All of my bacon fat, right? It's completely dissolved. I'm just moving it around, just looking. You know what I mean? I can feel the heat, that's nice. Now. I'm gonna start with my diced onions, right? I'm just gonna go ahead. You don't have to dice them, you guys can cut them. You can quarter them and put them in here. You can do them in eight, 16, however you wanna do it. I just happen to have mine diced right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add them all. I love the flavor, folks. Super easy, super simple. And again, I'm gonna keep talking to my new people. You know why? Because I want them to make this and I want them to be proud that they just made greens just like Big Mama. Whenever you're doing a dish and they call for onions, you start with them first because this seems to take the longest time to break down. I don't want these to get super translucent. I just want them to be soft. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my garlic press. And I know you guys have been with me for a minute. Look at what I'm doing right here. You know what I mean? Uh, you know I'm gonna put a smile on my face, right? Get it like that, and then we'll just go just like that. I want you guys to look at that. We. I'm happy, folks. Remember that smoked turkey leg? Look at that right there. We're gonna go ahead and just add that. And then I got right here some chicken broth. We wanna just go ahead and pour this in here, just like this. 
Nice. Now look, that was four cups. I'm, you know what? We want to go ahead and just add ourselves either two to four cups more because what I want to do is I want to take it and I want it to come up at least past halfway, right? So even if it comes up to 80% of this smoked turkey, that's fine. I'm just stirring this so we can get a nice even blend, right? But having the chicken stock, that's where we're going to get the flavor. Once everything starts, you know, once my water, my liquid starts to blend, I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning to get this nice, you know what I mean, and flavorful, just to add that, because what we're doing is we're building flavor on top of flavor. Okay, so you can see we got a boil, folks. Now look, I want to show this part. I'm going to break away from me, because if you lift up, if you can see right here, look, let me do it this way. If I do it right here, you can see the steam can burn me. I already been there and done that. So look, we're going to break it away, let a little steam out, then we do it like this, let all the condensation, you know, drop back in there, and we just put this down, just like you see. Now. I'm going to go ahead and just add my seasoning. All right. Whew. We're talking about building some layers. I'm going to let this boil and break that down while the leaves are from the collard greens are on top. Now, you can do it two ways. You guys can leave it in here and just boil it and let it go. But I know just from experience, we're going to start adding our collards. Now, let's just start working this around. You know what I mean? Because I like them to all be coated just a little bit. If, I don't know if you guys can see, but look, look right here. You see how you see the onion? Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to boil these down, steam them, and get them to get real small. They're going to become so translucent and be dissolved that there won't be nothing left but all the flavor will be in there. So, we'll get them like this. Right? I'm liking that. Now, I'm going to set my flame. I want to keep it boiling. You know what I mean? We're going to go down to a low and we're going to let it work, folks. Now, let's put this on top. Now I'm going to set a timer for two hours. I'm not going to look at them until the end of two hours and then I'm going to test to see how soft they are. If they need to go another 30 minutes, maybe another hour. It really depends on how much or how hot your pot is. All right, let me set a timer. Okay, so look, it's been about two and a half hours. I did open this up one time just to take a look at it and see. You can see how it started steaming. We lost a little bit, but you can see it right there. Look at that right there. And look at this. You can see where this is starting to like split over, split open. Now, you know this right here would be super rubbery. What I'm gonna do is turn it off, right? And then we are gonna shred this down. We are gonna mix that meat up and we are gonna put it in a bowl. As you guys can see, when you look down on that, look at that, I shredded this up. This is real nice. I done let it cool a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my bowl. This is what I'm talking about, folks. Ah, yeah. That's it right there. I like every time that I go in and get me some on my spoon, I get a little bit of that smoked meat, right? We just do it like this. Then we're gonna get some of that pot liquor that's down there. And for those of you guys that don't know about the pot liquor, you better ask somebody. Hey, for those, for the, for those of you guys that do know, let me know down in the comment section below what that pot liquor is. Hey, would you see that right there? We finna put some of that in there. Look, I got it in a bowl, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm ready to dig in. Hey, I don't want to over talk it. I'm finna just get right into it. Got my gold in there. You see that right there? Oh yeah. Look, it's nice and soft. I don't know no other way where I can get you guys to see this. Look at that right there. When I tell you it's nice and soft, ah oh, yeah, look, it just go right in. You know what? And then of course we got to get a little meat. This is what I'm talking about. Where are all my smoked meat lovers at? All right. Truly, man, I got the best gig on the planet. <clears throat> hey, I usually get down and say something like, it just ain't fair. Hey, this right here, it really ain't fair. Now, I don't want to over-talk it. Again, if you're new to anything like this, you know what I mean, and you want to impress somebody, go ahead and make it. You see, I just took the mystery out of it. It's up to you. Once you start here, listen, sky's the limit. I got other videos you guys can take a look at. You know what I mean? If you just want to raise the bar on making Southern style collard greens. Hey, with that being said, don't forget to leave me a comment. I want you guys to make it, come back and leave me a comment. You can leave one before you go, leave one when you get back. However you want to do it, I'm eager to, you know, read them. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you to tell 
everybody out there, right? Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I can almost not talk. It sound like, you know, my mouth is all over the place. You know why? I got my mind and my mouth set on these greens right here. So guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.